Hey, what's up guys? I'm Amber Cooper and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has been full support of this journey. And if you are new here, please take a quick second, go subscribe, like, and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss anything. I am currently in the middle of sharing with you guys um, just my interpretation of our five senses in your walk of Christ, in your walk with Christ, I should say. So what I'm getting at is whenever we're in elementary school, we learn the basic five senses, right? Sight, hearing, I'm going to mess it up now, taste, um, smell, and touch, right? So we know those things and we know the, the bodily functions, the tangible experiences of those five senses. Well, when you're in your walk with Christ and you are already saved, you have devoted your life to God spiritual on a spiritual level, truly, your senses are kind of fine-tuned and honed in in a new way. So there's other videos that I've made. Please, if you're inspired or in, in, interested by itself of what those things are, go and check them out and, and you know, communicate with me. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe there's something I have to learn. However, today I'm going to talk about our sense of smell. And honestly, I am not an overly touchy-feely person. So the thought of smell of people or anything, it's kind of weird and kind of gross to me. But when we're talking about our sense of smell when it comes to our walk with Christ, it's a little different. All of our senses kind of get heightened or elevated or just fine-tuned, if you will, um, to and experience God and the Holy Spirit and just the, your whole walk. So it's a little bit different. In the Bible, it talks in a few different places about the fragrance of Christ. And the best way for me to articulate that, because it's not necessarily what we smell with our nose, or anything like that. It's not necessarily a cologne or perfume, although there were those things, right? This is more articulated as in what you leave in the room when you walk away. So the best way I can explain that is, have you ever been in a room or just walking by and you catch whatever cologne or perfume someone is wearing? right and it kind of lingers or what if you are in a room and somebody walks in they say their quick thing and you're like oh they smell good i don't know what that is but i need to find out and then they walk out but it's still there like you can still smell it that is how i believe we are meant to show up in the world we're called to be the light of the world we're called to be more like jesus and help just inspire people to get saved and to to give their lives to Christ so therefore they can experience his goodness as well and whenever we are walking by faith and enter a room maybe not everybody is on the same page as you maybe there's some people that have never heard the word of God before maybe it's people that know but haven't devoted their life and so Maybe your experience with them is simply to just water the seed that's been planted. We all have a time and a place for all of it. But when you are witnessing, even just by leading by example, it doesn't even have to be a formal conversation. You can just be leading by example. And you walk in a room and somebody sees something different in you. Maybe they're inspired by your positive attitude. Maybe it's they understand that you've got some stuff going on in your private life, but when you show up to work, you are nothing but positive and you do the job and you have a good attitude. And maybe it's just something like that, like where they're thinking like, how does she do it? How does she pull off all of that when I know behind the scenes, she's got some stuff going on. That's inspiring to people. And whenever they ask you and you give that glory to God, that's it's that memory that lingers. 
It's the atmosphere you created that lingers in their mind. That's the fragrance of Christ in my articulation. So that I'm sure that can be explained and taught in so many different ways. But the way that it inspires me, just as an individual, just as a woman, as a friend, is let God's, or I'm sorry, <laughs> let people see and witness God in your life just simply by the way you're living. Because when you walk into the room, they may be feeling or doing or have a preconceived way about them. But when you walk out of that room, there's something different. Like there's an inkling of, I wonder how she got that way. Or I wonder, I wonder why, I wonder how. There's just something, something about them that draws a curiosity. And when that glory and honor is given to God, that is so powerful for somebody who's a non-believer or doesn't understand or never heard it before. It leads people to a way of living that could be so much better than maybe something that they're enduring now. Or don't even be surprised if it's one of those situations where they believe in Christ and they are saved and witnessing how God is moving in your life keeps them encouraged. I also believe that there are times where we endure things, but the Holy Spirit has been such a blessing to us that we are encouraged before it even comes. So I know for me, for example, when stuff starts attacking, I have a hard time keeping my ears open and my eyes clear, my vision clear for God's word and the way that he's moving because the worldly things just speak volume and it gets hazy, it gets confusing, right? So sometimes I've noticed I will hear a message that inspires me and I'm like, ooh, that was so good, right? That was so good. I'm not really sure what it's meant for me to hear, but that was, that was fascinating, right? What a concept, what an enlightenment. And then a few days later, I find myself in a situation where I'm like, thank you, Lord. I totally understand now why you put that message in my life, why you made it that clear to me. It was so I could come back to that understanding when I'm going through what I'm going through. So I know that that is not just for me. I know that there are many people that probably feel the same way. And if I am too vague, or if you feel like there's another way to look at that, I would love to talk more. So please feel free to drop anything in the comments, whether it be some insight or asking for more information. And I would love to answer and just communicate because that kind of fellowship just really inspires me. So be encouraged. I appreciate you guys. Go check out some other videos so you can understand even more. And I will catch you in the next video.